The Persian War knots his hurdle over two and a half miles. It's a great two of it. This is my first race over the timber this week. And Arcadia Trees at the top for Darren Thompson. Clever Dick, Craig Beckwith, House Arrest, Joshua Sutherland, Pan Mule, David Robertson, Bahamian Branch, or Bahamian Branch for Leon Van Brinsburg, Dance Lady for David Hooley, and Motels for Graham Clutterbuck. So, field of seven. And away we go. Through them disputing the lead early on, which one of them's going to take it up? It looks like Arcadia Tree might be the one that's going to lead them. Oh, it doesn't seem all that keen. Uh, pulling for its head, jockey trying to restrain it. And they get over the first of the 11. And the field are oh, covered by no more than five lengths or so. And Arcadia Tree hard held is the leader from Bahamian Branch in second. And then right over on the far side, House Arrest Dance Ladies down on this near rail. And as they take the second, Dance Lady might have just jumped into a share of the lead there, but it's almost five or six of them in a line with nothing all that keen to go on as they get to the third. Just about Arcadia Tree again on the outside house arrest. Down on this near side dance lady in the purple jacket, the purple and turquoise of Pan Muir in the centre of the trap, then Bahamian Branch and Clever Dick together as they take the fourth and finally Motels who's just bringing up the rear but they've sort of sorted themselves out and it's taken them a while to get into some sort of racing order that they're all comfortable with an Arcadia Tree is the one who's been left in the lead so Arcadia Tree then quite possibly on sufferance in front leading by about three to House Arrest in second and Dance Lady on the purple jacket on the inside is third Dark blue of Bahamian branches next. Pan Mule closest to us in the turquoise and maroon with a yellow cap. And then the navy and white sleeves of Clever Dick after that one. And finally, Motels is just the back marker at this point of the race. But it's Arcadia Tree who's now suddenly four or five clear. It seems to have settled down into the leading position despite not being all that keen. To lead early on over the fifth, all safely over that, and good jump there by Clever Dick. Saw that one jump right up with the third. On this Arcadia Tree, it's probably only two and a half up now. On House Arrest in second, Clever Dick on the outside third, and Bahamian Branch on the inside fourth. Tracking that one is Dance Lady with Pan Muir at the centre of the track, and Motel still just the back marker, but no more than ten lengths, not even that probably off the leader. Over the sixth they go. They all safely get to the other side of the sixth and make their way towards the seventh with Arcadia Tree. Back into a fall and lead again. With Clever Dick now a clear second. As they get over the seventh. And House Arrest. Oh, it's coming up the inside there. Dance Lady in that purple jacket. Saw a bit of a gap between Bahamian Branch and the fence and decided to take it. And has now quickly shot through into second place by virtue of having that inside berth but it's Arcadia Tree who continues to lead by about two and a half lengths to Dance Lady who's the new second place horse Bahamian Branch on the inside is now third then House Arrest Clever Dick just dropped back a little bit Pan Muir there sort of switched to the inside and Motels is going to try and come round the outside so the complexion changing just a little bit there as Arcadia Tree has been pushed along now to keep up with his lead Dance Lady and House Arrest are closing in second and third Pan Muir's running on Bahamian Branch and Clever Dick have lost their place and Motels has gone past them and moved into fifth but the jockey on Arcadia Tree have a little look round and see where the rest of them are he's got a lead of about two but the others appear to be going better than him at the moment Arcadia Tree over the eighth in the lead from Dance Lady in second House Arrest is third, then Pan Muir, Bahamian Branch trying to run on again and is beginning to do so. But it's Arcadia Tree who's kicked off for home, three lengths to the good from Dance Lady in second. House Arrest is third, then Bahamian Branch over to third, last they go, and Arcadia Tree still in the lead from Dance Lady in second. House Arrest is third, Bahamian Branch and Motel's trying to run over the second last they go, and Arcadia Tree has still got a full length lead and is going well enough in front, but now Bahamian Branch moves into second. Motel's looks a big danger on the outside, the lead is beginning to tire over the final flight, and it's Arcadia Tree in the lead from Bahamian Branch and House Arrest is a furlong to go and it's Arcadia Tree who's still three lengths clear, the jockey keeps having a little look, Bahamian Branch is closing all the time and Arcadia Tree needs a line, Arcadia Tree in front from Bahamian Branch in second and Bahamian Branch is just going to get up on the line possibly 
it's close. He's very close. Pamuel virtually walked past the winning post. And I would say that if that Darren Thompson horse has got beaten, the jockey will be getting a bit of a roasting because he spent more time looking round than concentrating on what he should have been doing. And he's been beaten. He's been caught on the line. Bahamian Branch has taken it for Leon Van Rensburg. Arcadia Tree for Darren Thompson. Second, House Arrest for Joshua Sutherland, third, Dance Lady for David Hooley, fourth, and Motels for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth, but you get to watch the replay of that and just take a look at that jockey on Arcadia Tree. He must have looked round about four or five times in between the final flight and the finishing post, and that almost certainly cost him the rest.